and I'm not used to being, the problem is I'm not used to being married. I really am not used to being married. I get, I get caught checking up women on the street. I mean, you guys, you guys are married? Get caught? Get caught? Never know. She catches She's like, yes, yes. Look, she dressed you the same as her. You are so married, my friend. Look at that. <laughs> you want to cheat, you wear what I wear. See if it happens. Go ahead. And that shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning, man. I got caught checking out three other women. You're embarrassed, but you know. Three other women. So you get caught. So you, you don't do it. Okay, fair enough. I don't believe that. Guys do it all the time. And I got caught three women. Three women. I felt awful. I'm like, I'm sorry. That was rude. That won't happen again. She said it was okay with her. Ladies, don't do that. You can't just let us have it. We're ready to get it. You caught us. Yell at us. I'm ready for that. She said what it meant to her was that of all the women in the world that I happened to find attractive, that I chose her. And I didn't know what to say. I was like, oh my god, that is so security. But you understand why I chose you. I had never actually seen those three before. <laughs>
course, Canada is built on immigration. This whole country is immigration. I mean, my grandparents didn't want to come here for sure. Not 50 years ago, this was not a popular country. Let's face facts, your grandparents didn't want to come here, you know? Canada thinks good gold, it sucks. I want to go to the floor, that's warm. Yay, you know? Can you imagine what the world is now, what the immigration in Canada is like? Oh my god, Canada wants us? <gasps> Dancing through the snow, and I'm not to say. was a tall boy in grade six, right? Yeah, I know. And now it's a tenor girl from Sri Lanka. I don't know. It's changing. It's changing. I'm wrong with that, though. We're all getting along pretty well, I think. I am Jewish. I, I do uh, have friends who live in the Middle East, and uh, I find it amazing. They actually want me to move there. I, I, every time we go. If you know anyone, I don't understand, you know, Jewish, why won't you live in the homeland? I don't know. How about Kaboom? Suicide bomber. You ever said, "Ever going to do a suicide bomber?" And I'm talking about this with a friend of mine, and he's like, "Well, you guys have an army." I'm like, "That's not the reason." Oh my God, there's never been a Jewish suicide bomber. Never going to be one for one reason and one reason only. Our mothers. My God, my mother would never let me be a suicide bomber. You're going to kill yourself. I spent ten thousand dollars fixing up your teeth, and you think you're going to kill yourself? I will kill you before you have a chance to kill yourself. You realize that. Right? I used to cover my head. I used to wear a yarmulke, a kippa, all right? Uh, I cover my head. What that does, if you're a white person, is it makes you a visible minority, okay? And people say stuff to you because you look different. About 20 years ago, I'm going into a bar in Montreal. There's a guy inside of the door, about two feet inside the door, selling hash. Hashish for the older people. <laughs> This guy's just sticking his head out, just real quick, hash. Wanna buy some hash? It's like, yeah, some people buying, some people not. I guess he saw me coming. I was about third in line wearing my keep. I guess he sees me, so this is what I hear. Hash. Wanna buy some hash? Kosher hash. <laughs> Bucks, but I chewed him down to 30. 